Um, good evening, my name is Gretchen Higginbottom. Welcome to tonight's celebration of the Affordable Learning Solutions Initiative at Fresno State. We're going to go ahead and get started with our presentation part of the program. Around this time last year, the Affordable Learning Solutions Task Force, which is comprised of the library, which includes Bain, Dean Peter McDonald, who's not here, Kimberly, I'm going to give them a wave, sorry, it's the stand, I'm sorry, and myself, um, as well as Tilt, and that's Rudy, and Brent. Um, from the bookstore, we have Kurt and Dusty, who are not here. And from SSD, we have Rima. It's right here. Okay. A year ago, we hosted a kickoff event to officially bring the Affordable Learning Solutions to the campus. At that time, President Welty and Provost Camino were in attendance. Dr. Camino was one of the main speakers who talked about the importance of the initiative, which is basically saving students money, and why this initiative is especially important and welcoming to Fresno State. He continued on a personal level that as a parent who was paying for his kids' textbooks, this initiative was a godsend for him. After the kickoff event, Dr. Cavino continued to support and speak of the initiative at many of the provost forums, emails to faculty, and meetings with deans. Today, the Affordable Learning Solutions Task Force is celebrating the participations and achievements of our 2013 faculty learning community. These faculty either heard about Dr. Camino's speech or they received emails from Rudy from, about the faculty development opportunities with professional development funding support. So now I'm going to introduce our 2013 cohorts. And I'm going to have them to either stand or wait, or let you choose. <laughs> um, we have John Finan. We have Melissa Jordan. Christina Herrera. Annabella Espana Niger. Forgive me if I mispronounce your name. Paula Durrett. <laughs> Arun Nemar. Greg Dean. Oh, we'll give him a run. <laughs> Sherilyn Colby Botel. Here. <laughs> and Tracy Stutz. On behalf of the task force, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to welcome President Castro to our event. So we're going to ask him to come up and say a few words. We're putting him on the spot before his dinner. <laughs> <laughs> of the fact that uh, Fresno State is at the forefront of the Affordable Learning Solutions Initiative and that we're viewed as a leader within the CSU. And I know that you were asked to uh, join this by our prior uh, leadership and I really want to, want to express my appreciation for uh, heeding the call and uh, doing such a great job with it. I've heard nothing but positive uh, feedback uh, regarding the work that you've done. And I want to thank the uh, Affordable Learning Solutions Committee and Vang Vang especially for your leadership uh, in this area. Uh, I'm very sensitive to the fact that our students are facing financial hardships and so many of them are working, uh, trying to get through uh, school, complete their education here. And uh, you know that because you're with them in the classroom every day. And this initiative, I think, really makes a difference because it helps to uh, lower some of those costs for them to attend Fresno State and to succeed. So you really are the pioneers in doing this. And 
I'd like to see us innovate even more in this area so your work uh, will help to shape the, the future in terms of uh, the use of technology and trying to ensure that our students are served well. So I want to thank you for, for all your work and I look forward to learning more about your work and supporting it in any way possible. Um, our provost designate just came in the room, Lynette Zelezny, I want to uh, acknowledge her as well and I know she's been very supportive of this initiative and uh, together Lynette and I are going to support this program and take it to new heights of success. So thank you all very much for including me and I look forward to learning more about this very important program. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here this evening and thank you Lynette for joining us. Welcome. And um, I just want to say that both your and uh, President Castro's uh, presence here means a lot to us as uh, the task force and as the initiative. I call this evening a celebration because it's a celebration of people having a desire to, or an interest to help others, and especially our students. And, what, and that's what Affordable Learning Solution is all about, an interest to help. Each and every faculty member in the FLC has and will continue to make a difference, whether their students realize it or not. Their decision to use an older edition, use the e-journals or e-books from the library, use open source textbook from the low or free resources from websites like Project Gutenberg, uh, manybooks.net, um, save their students money. We know it and we thank you for it. Let me give you some examples of some of the things that our faculty or learning community faculty has done. Um, Sherilyn's not here, but in her anthropology class 30, she saved each student $34 by using loose leaf edition. You might think that $34 is very little, but she has 200 students per semester. And that's a huge saving of $6,800 every semester, which she will be implementing from now on. So that's big savings. In Paula's Art 180, she saved each student $61. This semester, she has 24 students. That's over $1,500 that's saving for the students. Instead of using a traditional textbook, she created the different chapters herself and um, as e-chapters and then upload them to Blackboard for our students. Another example, in Arun's IT 148, he saved each student $185 by using open source textbook from below. He has 35 students this semester. That's a saving of over $6,500. So thank you so much. And that's just a very, very small example of what each of these faculty did. Let me uh, show you the website here that you can always go to. And these are some of the reports that we have and um, what they implemented and what their savings are. So go ahead and use this website here. Look it over. Find out a little bit more about what the affordable learning solution is. And then use it, publicize it. And I would have to say that they did amazing work. Thank you so much for the report that you guys gave back. And besides sending in the reports, they also did a video recording of their experiences. So let me share a video with you. I'm Dr. Melissa Jordan. I'm a faculty member in the History Department, and I implemented the Affordable Learning Solution in History 140, The Holocaust. I had used a textbook the previous semester when I taught this course, and I had also had students purchase two books. Uh, both of these were works on uh, the Holocaust, one in Poland and one on the Holocaust in Eastern Europe. This time to implement the, uh, the affordable learning solutions, what I actually did was I eliminated the textbook. I had two lectures that I gave that covered material that was in the textbook, and I also posted uh, a chapter and part of another chapter on Blackboard for students to read. 
I also had for the two books that I require them to purchase, I allowed them to use either earlier copies or used copies. Uh, so all in total that brought costs down. Uh, I think it worked pretty well. I did have to dedicate about a week of the class to providing background. And that did mean that one of the issues that I would previously discussed, I had gone into more depth on the resistance during the Holocaust, and I've had to uh, reduce one of those lectures and eliminate part of another lecture to do with, uh, with another issue in order to have time to give the background that students need without a textbook. But so far it seems to be going really well. Students don't seem to be less prepared because they don't have the textbook. I do have several discussions still where students read additional material for discussions, and that seems to be working nicely with the additional lectures. So I've been pretty pleased with how it's gone, uh, and I think that I'll continue to do this, that I won't assign a textbook in the future for this course, uh, because textbooks obviously are very expensive. I'm an Affordable Learning Solutions faculty member. I wanted to implement this because I know that many of my students actually have part-time or full-time jobs and they're trying to balance school with work and so the higher the textbook costs are for them that that translates into more hours for them to work and gives them less time to study. So I really wanted to try to find a way particularly to eliminate textbooks uh, because those are one of the most expensive costs for most of my students. I think it really was worth it to replace the textbook and even though I did have to a lot more time than I originally thought when I actually started to look at what students would need to know when I was preparing the, the syllabus, it did require me to give up uh, at least one or two more class periods than I had anticipated before I really took a, a look at what, what they'd been reading in the textbook and what they'd been covering. But I would definitely do it again. I think it was worth it and I think it's worth giving those lectures and that in some ways it's actually more interactive. When you just assign a textbook and students read it outside of class, you can either do a quiz or you can talk to them about it in class, but when you give a lecture they can actually stop you and ask questions. And so I felt like in some ways the material was being delivered more effectively giving it as a lecture than in the textbook. And because there were only certain parts of the textbook that we were using, I really felt like this was this was feasible and this was a better solution because we were only using six chapters out of a textbook that had about eight or nine chapters. Um, I haven't done this replacing it with a textbook where I used every single chapter in the textbook, but I think it would work for that as well. I think you would just have to devise other ways to deliver that content. So that's just to give you some examples of uh, the videos that we did as affordable learning solutions move forward, I'm very optimistic and excited being part of the President's Tablet Program. Being part of the uh, Tablet Program will only give us more opportunities to work with faculty and will help us to create more positive changes for our students. And most important, Fresno State's uh, affordable learning solution proposal was renewed by the Chancellor's Office, so we have funding to continue for the next year. So thank you for your support and cooperation in making this initiative a success. And like I said, this evening is a celebration. So please continue to enjoy your food, your dinner, desserts coming up, and um, each other's company. And you're more than welcome to walk around and uh, talk to people and get to know them, as well as just talking to them and finding out what they did. Okay? And I couldn't have done the initiative without you, Gretchen, Rudy, Rima, Brent, Kimberly, Kurt, Dusty, and Peter. Each and every one of you is a true partner of Affordable Learning Solutions. And lastly, I almost forgot, uh, faculty members of the FLC, besides tonight, you know, great dinner, great dessert, uh, you will get a nameplate, and under the nameplate will be the title, Affordable Learning Solutions Faculty. So you cannot get away. <laughs> you can put this nameplate on your door, or somewhere in your office where it's visible. And when somebody asks you, a colleague, a student, because you have office hours, right? Somebody asks you, we ask that please be an ambassador and tell them why you are an affordable learning faculty. And you also get a letter for your work and participation in the initiative. Thank you so much and enjoy the evening.